the Baptist Church of Warren County. Thank you. 
to LA, right?
Kwase for Pack Stereo TV. We just did uh, Baldwin Hills Crenshaw Plaza Live, and we have Indombi with us. How are you doing today? I'm good. How okay, you? I'm good. <laughs> now, what does your name mean? The most beautiful. The most beautiful. Okay, so get her outfit, because you know, the most beautiful. Alright, so I went on your website, it said that you're a Texas native, Yes. so how long have you been in California for? I've been here for about five years. Okay, so what's the difference? What do you like and dislike about California? I don't really think I have a difference in, in that. I think my experience, the experience of where you are is what you make it. It's all about what you put in the room. It's like okay. you, know, you make a big pot of soup, it's what you put in there. So right. I enjoy California because it's, it's its own experience. And the one thing that they both have in common, you must have a car. How about that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, you come from Baptist roots. Yes, I do. So how do you how did you take that and infuse that in your music? Uh, I, I can't help, but I think that my voice is uh, like an old spirit. Mm -hmm. So it comes through the way I sing. Now, if I don't choose to sing, I can sing any genre I want to, but it's still gonna be gospel on top of all that. So it's just inbred in me, and it, it comes out. All right. And now you were a backup singer for Erica Badu. I was. How was how long did you do that for? I did that off and on from 97 to 2002. Wow. And how was that experience? It was a great experience. We had a great time because she was making music at the time that was new and fresh and exciting for people. It was mm -hmm. a different take on music, spirituality, uh, creativity. And we just, we had a great time just exposing people to this stuff that was really in inspiring to us and creative for us. Okay, so now when I hear your music, I'm thinking of Neo Soul, but how would you describe your music? I'm genreless because I listen to so many oh, things. Oh, say that again. Genreless. Genreless. Like that. Okay. <laughs> because I listen to so many things and I'm influenced by so many things uh -huh. that, that it's a it's a plethora of a lot of things. So okay. I, I wouldn't sing about one thing because I like Patsy Klein and then I also like, you know, I don't know. It's, uh, Carly Simon. It doesn't matter. So it's, music is so vast and great. I just want to ingest it all in. Okay. So now I get this question a lot, and I don't know if this bothers you or annoys or annoys you, but you look like you work out. All right. So what do you do for your workout? <laughs> I, I lift weights and uh, I do cardio. Okay. But yeah, I like I like weightlifting. All right. So now people ask me to flex, and I really don't like that question. But do you do you? Because I saw your, your muscles on stage, oh, and those were they they were they were serious. <laughs> Oh it's Lord, serious. my You don't have to see no. <laughs> Men be aware. This is this is this is this is the truth. <laughs> Oh Lord! So I saw I saw um, you were on stage, amazing performance. Now you, on top of being a great singer, you were entertaining. So I mean, what do you what do you take to the stage when you when you get on there? What do you think of when you get on the stage? I think of how performers from the past used to perform. It was not just about the singing; it also gave you something to be engaged with. And I know that the experience is not just only about me. And I want to make the audience feel a connection. So I'm hoping to relate to them in any way possible and all that I have to give in every limb right. so that they can connect with me. So my goal is to connect with the album. Okay. Totally. And then your album's coming out. What's the title of it? Well, I have an album out now, Pink Elephant. Okay. Now where do you get the title from? It's a combination of the elephant in the room and I, 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 I think that we all have our own star mm -hmm. and we all shine bright and I think that you just need to to embrace that star. So it's kind of like if there were this one elephant in the room and you just stood out and you saw it. And it happens to be pink because pink is a color for hope and promise. And you need all that to go on your journey. And I don't want to make it that technical, but it's really about being a superstar and embracing your inner star. Nice. And then where can you get the album? Pretty much you anywhere? You can get it anywhere. You can get it on Amazon.com. You can go on um, so iTunes. You can go to CD Baby. Some, some of the stores that are still around might have it. Mm -hmm. But you can go to ndambionline.com. N-D-A-M-B-I online.com. Spell it again for them because I know. N-D-A-M-B-I <laughs> online.com. All right. And now you have another event uh, in California this Saturday. I do. So where is that? Stevie's, Stevie's. in Encino. We're okay. going to do that. And then what's coming up after that? After that we have shows on the East Coast. We're going to be doing uh, Philly, D.C. and New York. Okay. So you can definitely check that out on your website as well. You yes, you can go to ndombionline.com. Perfect. And then last question, what, what's playing in your car? What's playing in my car? Bruno Mars. <laughs> so this is Ndambe. 
What's your name mean again? The Most Beautiful. Okay, so you can check her out at Stevie's this Saturday. Check on the website for all the other locations. This is Turquoise for Pax Stereo TV. Do your own math and learn from the stuff that you are missing. Create your own path with your own vision.